Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another card opening. But today we have to open things to open the cards. So, like the thumbnail would suggest today, we are going to be opening Pokeball tins. Uh, I do have 13 of these. However, I doubt I'm actually going to be opening all 13 today. We'll see what happens with timing. But uh, I do want to start working on uh, the timing for these videos. So I'm going to be probably cutting this to maybe two videos. We'll do six one and seven the other. Who knows? Um, but these can be notoriously difficult to open the wrapper on too. So but you can see five of them there. And then obviously I have the regular Pokeball in my hand. But I'm going to crack a few of these open so I can get the cards out. I'll show you what was in each of them, and then we'll take it from there. The packs I got out of that one was a Breakpoint and a Sun and Moon Base, and then X and Y Fates Collide. So this is super interesting and unexpected. Uh, I watched a video of somebody, let's do the Premier Ball, uh, opening a bunch of these, and in every single one of them, he got... Uh, a Sun and Moon base set and a Sword and Shield base set. Uh, like two and one of each of them. Um, so I wasn't sure what to expect in these. Same coin in that one. But um, I also wasn't 100% sure. So I got these. So we got another Breakpoint, Sun and Moon base, X and Y Fates Collide. So uh, a lot of X and Y stuff. A little bit of Sun and Moon, nothing from the current generation so far, which is super interesting because I don't really have... I have a little bit of Sun and Moon base, but hardly any, so, like, not really enough to, like... That's even worth mentioning. I've opened a very small amount of boosters. Um, but for the X and Y stuff, I have literally none because I was not collecting Pokemon cards for X and Y, so that's kind of cool. And those are older, and there's some cool cards in those. I don't know a ton about that generation, but just from watching other people. Uh, yeah, same thing in here. We got Fates, Sun and Moon, Breakpoint, Coin. God, I am not getting any variables on the coins either. I actually got these from Best Buy, believe it or not. I know they're not like the number one place for Pokemon stuff, but um, they had them in stock. And in the picture for what I ordered, it was only showing the level balls, which I knew were new for 2021. So rightfully, I assumed that they were 2021 balls, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. So anyway, so yeah, so we have six of the uh, X and Y Faith Collide, six of the X and Y Breakpoint, and six of the Sun and Moon Base. Um, so I guess I'll do the Fates Collide first. Never done any real uh, X and Y openings before. The uh, they look and feel a little different than I'm used to. Uh, I'm pretty sure the trick is three, but if I'm wrong, we'll find out really quick. Bent spoon, side guard. Because even like the symbols are on the right, I'm used to them being on the left, so I gotta have to go slow at first. It's interesting, like the cards honestly feel, you know, different than I'm used to. I'm used to newer ones. Okay, so our reverse is a loud dread and Mr. Mime. The regular Mr. Mime, not the Gargarian Mr. Mime that I'm used to. This should be fun. X and Y action. I mean, these are obviously older cards now. They're not vintage by any means, but they're they're definitely getting there in 
age where I would imagine they're going to be harder and harder to find with time. So uh, definitely kind of fun to get that kind of variety in the Pokeballs. Diglett. Mincini. Puffing. Wow, that is a really cool Moltres. I like the reverse hollow things on these because it's like really showcases the element of the thing. That is a cool uh, rare. And then the actual rare for this is an Amistar. Cool. That is a lot of fun. The other thing is like I don't <laughs> I don't know much about these, so I could open. I mean, some cards are going to be obviously more valuable than others. You know, like you know when you're looking at some sort of a full art something or other that you're like, oh, this is. But for all I know, that's a you know ten dollar card. I don't I don't know how common those are. I really didn't expect to see these types of cards when. I started uh, opening these tins, so it's not like I did like a ton of research ahead of time to see what types of cards I could expect. Like, what am I looking for in this set? Like, I honestly don't know. For those of you that do collect or did collect uh, the X and Y, um, comment below like if you did the Fates Collide or the Breakpoint in either of those sets. Like, what are some of your favorite cards? That's a really cool looking. Larvitar. And then we got a Carbank. Um, what are some of your favorite cards from the set? And, you know, some of the cards that you look for uh, if you were to open these packs today. Let's go. But yeah, that is interesting. Shuckle. Dome Fossil Blue. Special Energy, Diglett, Snivy, Coughing, Normal Larvitar, Hullaby. That's a cool looking Whimsicott. I have to say, I like the hollow things for this set. I think they look really cool. And the artwork is really cool on these too. That's a cool looking uh, Snorlax. As always, in people's way. I'm going to have to get another binder soon. I'm like adding new collections to my set of cards that I wasn't previously collecting. Ultra Ball. We just opened two of those, right? Wasn't it two? Yeah, two Ultra Balls. Elf. Gothica. Little j oh, that's a cool Jigglypuff. You can see the uh, two other guys in the back. I know it's a common card, but I mean, uh, I haven't. Oh, look at the Deerlings. I've, I've never seen some of this artwork because, I again, I haven't spent a lot of time looking at these. So, Oh, something sticky here. Oh, my goodness. You have got to be kidding me. Altera EX card. Hell, yes. See, I know enough to know that that is a special card. I know enough to know that that is special. Look at that. That is actually really cool looking, too. Now, I have to admit... Let's get a sleeve on it. The centering and whatnot is definitely a little bit off, but it's a little bit bent. I don't know if you can kind of see, like if I put pressure on the bottom of the card, see how the front lifts up? There's a little bit of bend in this. Uh, and like I said, I think a lot of these cards may end up having a little bit of a bend to them. These packs definitely felt like they were kind of... I don't want to say shoved into the Pokeballs, but I mean, if you're looking for like PSA 10 collector cards, uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to find them out of the tins. I would say the tins are more just for fun to, you know, it's a fun way to get some mysterious cards. And um, that we did, because I was, again, not expecting to get these set. I was expecting the Sun and Moon base. That I was expecting to see in there. Uh, I was not expecting to see either of the X and Ys. I thought there was just going to be Sword and Shield base in there, which again, I was honestly looking forward to because I need to work on that collection. And oh my goodness, what in the heck 
is this even? I, it's like embarrassing that I don't know enough about this to even know how special this is. <laughs> it seems cool. That's for sure. I'm certain that that's obviously a pretty special card as well. And then that's our normal one, the Lugia. But this is a really cool looking card. So I'm assuming... I can't think of a time that I've had to turn... I mean, this is an X and Y thing. But, you know, like, there's no cards like that in Sword and Shield where you have to turn them kind of sideways to properly look at them. I'll put the values on the screen like I always do for these because I'm obviously going to have to look these up after the fact so I can get an idea of what I'm actually holding and, you know, trying to figure out what the actual values of these. That's it for Fates Collide. Uh, but I'm very happy with that because those are two very cool looking cards. And there were some really cool cards in there just in general. Uh, I'm going to save the break points for last. We'll do the X and Y first and last. We'll do the base uh, Sun and Moons next. Oh my god. And now that I did those X and Ys, I forget the Sun and... I think Sun and Moon is four just like the other one is. I apologize if we get... Something that we don't want to see until the end. Pincer. Oh my goodness, my stack is crazy. Um, Sandy Ghast. Eevee. Crab Crawler. Alrighty. Diglett. Pelipper is my reverse. And this feels sticky. An Umbreon GX. Look at that. Dude. These pulls are actually pretty cracked right now. That is awesome. And we just pulled the Eevee too, so that's cool. I'm actually, we got an Eevee evolution along with an Eevee. It's all good. There's your energy card. Colorless energy. Payaka Huka Huka Boy. Wingle. Shuffle, Pablo, Zubat, Shelter, versus a Dartrix and a Crobat Hollow. Liking that. Bojo. Throwing codes at your face. A little bit of lightning energy going on there. Hypno, Jumbeak, Rainbow Energy. It's a cool looking Dratini. Sandy Ghast. Merlol. Fomantis. Surskis. Cosmog Reverse. And Mr. Toucan. Code. Okay, so we've got a repel. Pelipper, Pokeball, how fitting, Eevee, looking all tough, Psyduck, Spiro, Dratini, Cutie Fly, Cutie Fly, oh, and then the reverse Cutie Fly, and the Lunala GX, another very cool looking, God, we are pulling a lot of of GX cards out of the Sun and Moon. Considering the fact that I only have six of each, or at least today, I have obviously more Pokeballs to open for the next time. This is completely cracked. If you guys are wondering why I'm using the Hatterenes as the background, I don't know if you guys picked up on that or Notice the Hatterenes. Uh, I've got three of them in the background. I actually have four of the Hatterene Champions Path boxes. And they're going to be opened in a future video. Possibly, probably not the one right after this because hopefully really soon my battle styles will be here. Um, I am actually recording this on the night of the 17th and I just got an email that I like that hurtier. Oh, this is sticky. 
a Tauros GX. Jesus, I can't stop pulling GX cards. That's really cool looking too. Like he is angry about something. Yeah, just got the email confirmation that a shipment code or a shipment has been generated with the USPS. And the guy emailed me to say that they will be dropping it off at the post office tomorrow to ship to my house. I don't know where he's located. Somewhere in the continental United States, though. So uh, hopefully I'll have that in a couple days. So by the time this is posting, I should already have that. And then I'm just trying to decide what... I have two whole boxes of those. So I want to do a live stream to open at least some of them. But I'm thinking I'm going to save some of them for the videos as well. Nice. Reverse Pokeball. How appropriate. And oh my goodness. I This is insane. Team Skull Grunt. That is crazy pretty. Look how shiny. That's probably the best pull so far, but again, some of these older cards from the, like the X, XY, like I don't know, but I would imagine the Rainbow Hollow is the best out of this set. And this is the last number out of this set. It's 149 of 149. Last six of the day. Back to XY. This time, Breakpoint. Can Breakpoint be as cool? As these other ones have been, because so far I've been really enjoying today's pools. This is absolutely crazy. Pseudo Voodoo, 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 Special Energy, Shrewish, some Tadpoles, some Sea Duck, some Shelter, some Ch I like here. Lilligant is my reverse. And can't break. Usleaf, starting it off. Puzzle of time. Double pulls. <laughs> Drowsy. A little spritzy. Some more tadpoles. Clefairy. Chikorita. Glammeow. Looking all glammy. And oh my god. Gorados EX. Are you kidding me right now? What a cool EX to pull out of these. Gyarados just coming smashing through into my card collection. You, sir, get a sleeve. You can't even see them now. My row of cards are off camera. Pokeball tins are coming through for me today. I'm really excited to open the other seven for the next video. That's if it ends up being the next video. It may end up getting bumped because of the battle styles, but I will definitely get to them sooner or later. And you can rest assured, after all the fun we're having here, reverses the Gibble and a little shift tree. Three more to go. Code. Misty's Determination. Spirit Link, Bursting Balloons, Sida, Plantrump, Yamph, Gibbo, another one of these guys. That is a cool looking Maul, and drop yon. Cool. Luxio to start us off. Dun Sputters. Psychic Third Eye, Drowsy, Spritzy, more Tadpoles, another Clefairy, another one of these guys. <laughs> okay, as the first guy for this on the reverse, and pun, 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 pun. It's kind of funny, last pack of the day. Let's get a little bit of excitement, because this has been pretty good, and then these last few packs have been pretty lackluster. Let's let the... Let's have the last one at least like, you know, a little good, a little bit of a hit, right? Oh, look at that ducklet. So cute. Just want to eat it. 
One hit. Oh my gosh, I double pulled to the max potion. Uh, max potion reverse, and behind it, a Ferrothorn. Nothing too crazy, but let's recap real quick, because this whole pull in general has been crazy. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time, because these will be a little bit mixed up, but, you know, from where they're from. But this Bronzong Break card, and then I got this EX of Altera, the Lunala GX, the Umbreon GX, which I'm really excited about. I'm a big fan of Eevee and all the evolutions. Tauros EX, which, again, the art on that looks sick, so I'm pretty excited about that. The Gyarados EX, which, obviously, and then this Rainbow Hollow of Team Skull Grunt. So, Pokeballs, I think, 100% came through today. I'm really excited about these, so I'm definitely looking forward to the next set of Pokeballs I have to order, like, order, open. Like I said, I have seven more that I haven't uh, opened up yet. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected to open the six balls, but I guess that makes sense. That's like 18 packs. So I think I'll open six more and then I'm going to save one random Pokeball for something special on another day. So that was an awesome open. Thanks for being there, everybody. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite card was that we pulled out of that and which one you were most excited to see pop up. And I will see you on the next one.